We're back in 933 on North Dakota today. And if you are a parent that's concerned about the environment or you just want to support a local business that carries kids products that are environmentally free, uh, friendly, we have got the place for you. Jamie Hike is the owner of Momo's Garden here in Bismarck and in Dickinson. Welcome to the show, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, my children are way out of this stage, but I'm fascinated by all these things because none of this existed when they were small. So You know, a lot of this didn't exist five years ago when we had our first one. Mm -hmm. um, parents are just looking, families with young children are looking for alternatives that are safer for their families, more cost effective and um, environmentally friendly. I kind of look at this as what comes around goes around, deja vu again, because when I was a young child, they had the cloth diapers and you had the plastic pants that you would mm -hmm. put over them. Then. Mm -hmm. But we, we kind of evolved into better. This is, um, this is a, a modern diaper. Yes. And it's cloth, but yep. do you need plastic pants with this? Um, no, that, that actually is an all-in-one diaper, so wow. it is all put together. You'd use it just like a disposable, except instead of putting it in the garbage, you would put it into your diaper pail, and instead of taking it out to the garbage, you would just put it in your washer and rewash. Now, remember when, um, it's, when we were kids, you know, you had to soak the diapers, mm -hmm. you had to... You know, yeah. do you still have to do that? No, you know, um, we have, we've been using cloth diapers for several years, and you know, once they get into the uh, smellier poop stage, excuse me. Uh, mm -hmm. but, it's all right, um, everybody does it. I know, once they start eating solid foods, we generally go into a wet pail, which is some water and a little mm -hmm. bit of um, detergent to kind of help the smell so it's not permeating through your house. Sure. Um, and that's about it. So, okay. They have well, these great little toilet wands that you hook onto your toilet tank that you spray all the mess off into your toilet so the waste is going into the septic system versus out into the landfill. Great, so, no, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. And, and one other thing, not to focus totally on the diapers, but I would imagine it would be easier to train a baby um, when they're ready to train in a yes. cloth diaper because the, you know, the disposable diapers, they have all that stuff that wicks yep. away the moisture yep. so they, they can't, can't tell, tell they're if wet. they're wet. Right. That's right. Yep. You're, you're absolutely correct. They do potty train earlier. All but. right. I, I have to ask you, <laughs> I saw this, you brought this on the set and I have to ask you about this. We can get a shot of this. It is a <laughs> snot sucker. I am not making this up. It actually says snot sucker on the package here. We used to have those bulbs. <laughs> yeah, those little blue bulbs. Syringe things. But apparently that's not a safe thing to do. No, it's actually very aggressive to squeeze the air out of a ball and let that suction come through the baby's nasal pass passages. So feel like they're they're what like sucking their brain out. Yes, or? yeah, it's just very aggressive. <laughs> okay. And so this one actually, I can show you a little bit. Um, you literally, first of all, you can clean it. Have you ever tried to clean one of those ball syringes? Oh, yeah, that's true. You really you don't can't. Know. Yeah. This comes completely apart, so you can clean. This is the tube that the snot goes into. So um, there's a filter just in case you are okay. fearful of any snot coming up into your mouth. That would be a fearful thing. Yep. <laughs> so ultimately, you just find your baby, and you put this part into your mouth, and you put this up to their nose, and you can do little baby sucks to loosen everything up. And they're usually giggling at this point because it's gargling and sounding funny and feeling <laughs> funny. And then you do a little bit longer pulls, and then it pulls the snot up through the tube. And so they then, don't mind this? No. Now this was, no. um, it was invented by a doctor, yeah. apparently, in Sweden, so anyway, yeah, it's, yeah. It, this is different. I just, I just could not get over the fact that it said snot sucker on the package. It's, it's anyway. like it reminds me of, you know, when, you, when you're trying to siphon gas out of the can. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, you got to be careful because you don't want it to come all the way back. That's this, right. I got to ask you about this one here, Jamie. So this oh. is actually a set of wood toys. Wood toys. When was the last time yeah. you saw wooden toys made? Um, I have to tell you guys, one of my favorite things about the Melissa and Doug line and carrying the Melissa and Doug line is I get tons of parents and grandparents that come into the store and they say, oh my gosh, I had this when I was little. I can't wait to get this for my child or my grandchild. And it's one of my favorite parts Sweet. of having the line other than, you know, that they're wooden, they're non-toxic paint. It's nostalgia. Yes, it's so fun to connect with families on that level and bring back into their homes something that they enjoyed as a child. Now, this is something that's made right here in North Dakota, yes, right? The in Mandan, North right. Mandan. Tell us about these. Um, well, the Bison Booties actually came into our life um, in Dickinson with our first shop. Erica Hager is the creator of Bison Booties. 
and they were a hit from the beginning. They are um, little booties that are super soft. They are machine washable, so if they happen to get dirty, whether it's um, spit up or an accident when you're changing the diaper and the foot slips in, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, again, yeah, we're yeah. back to the poop, which yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what happens when you want a baby store, yeah. that's yeah. right. Uh, but you can throw them right into the wash. They stay on so well. We have gone back through the supermarket to find pacifiers and socks, but never a bison booty. They stay. They if you if you size them properly, they don't kick off. I um, wish I'd invented them. Well, I'm I'm sure Erica is glad that she did. <laughs> yes, I bet she is. One thing, getting back to the deja vu all over again sort of approach. We're going back to glass, folks. Mm -hmm. This what reminds me a little bit of like the Pyrex, but yeah. what's different about this? Well. You know, how many years ago was it, you guys, that we were supposed to start looking at our plastic bottles to see if it's the right number plastic? Right. Like yeah. five, six mm -hmm. years ago? Mm -hmm. Is it going to happen again? You know, next year, are we going to be looking for another number that's not safe? You know, it's just easier to invest in glass. You know it's safe. You know that it's durable. <clears throat> You can pop it in your dishwasher for those of us that have super busy lifestyles. Top two. The tops are silicone. Um, BPA lead and phthalate free um, snaps they've got a gasket on the inside so you can put um, baby food in here you can put um, vinegar oil I mean anything that you want soup and it's gonna seal right up for you yeah what I like is you don't have to struggle trying to figure right. out how to get the top back on right yeah. and you know we hear from families that are slowly starting to transition because it is there is a price point to them when you buy glass they're sustainable they're gonna last longer and they'll buy a few pieces at a time and they'll come in and they'll say, oh, I'm always reaching for my glass, I need some more. I'm, I'm slowly getting rid of my plastic and I'm reaching for my glass containers. So, yeah, so it, it goes to baby bottles too, right? Yep, it goes into, well, these are, are the adult there, right? drinking have, water bottles. Here are the, here are the baby bottles right yep. there. Right. And, and now I would think, okay, it, this is, we, there have been all kinds of baby, baby bottles, you know, the plastic one, the, the mm -hmm. one with the collapsible mm -hmm. plastic on the inside. But what's good about these? I mean, this is the glass baby bottle in fact, my brother hit me in the face with one. Oh. I'm still suffering <laughs> Traumatic. today. But Traumatic. That doesn't usually happen, oh, I'm shoot. sure. Anyway, tell us the advantage of these. Um, well, the nice thing about the glass baby bottles is that, one, they're dishwasher safe. So we mm -hmm. all know how many bottles we go through um, with babies, and we've probably all experienced the giant tree um, bottle rack with nipples and caps right, and right, bottles right. and it just takes up half your kitchen counter. So mm -hmm. the glass bottles you can use more than once because the glass doesn't absorb any of the milk or the formula that's in it. Um, it also slows the baby down from eating because it's glass it's not vented and so the baby will drink and the nipple will actually collapse and then the baby has to release out of the side of their mouth to fill that nipple back up. Hmm. So it slows down their eating kind process. Kind of a more natural thing. Yes. Yep. But what about the, you know, the, the air in the tummy sort of situation that you hear about? I've never had an issue with these. Okay. So it just must be something about going back to our roots and our babies know what to do. Um, the nice thing about these bottles is they also transition into sippy cups. You can keep the bottle oh. and we sell the sippy cup lids separately so you can come in and then you can um, just kind of switch it out. Yep, you just switch it out so your bottle then becomes your sippy cup so you're not having to reinvest that money into a sippy cup. Um, and then it actually, you can buy a regular lid so then it turns into a water bottle. So one investment will take you from baby to toddler without oh, having to nice. purchase more. We could be talking about this for a long time. There's so much stuff here, but we are out of time. But thank you thank so you. much for bringing it in and sharing it with us today. Thank yeah. you. So if Momo's you want, Garden. If you want to check out Momo's Garden, there's her contact information on the screen for you. They've got two locations, one in Dickinson, one here in downtown Bismarck. Jamie, thank you so thank much. Thank you. All right. When we come back, if you're looking for a more natural way to treat that headache or maybe that tummy ache, you might want to try essential oils. If you haven't heard of them, Darcy Lawrenson is here this morning to give us the lowdown.